Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. I've had a request to draw a rhinoceros, so that's what we're going to be doing today. So get yourself some plain white paper, a pencil, an eraser, and a black pen. That's it. And don't forget, if you like to draw animals, you can download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you'll find the link just here. So let's get started. We're going to start off our rhinoceros by drawing a relatively straight line across the top of the page, just like this. I say relatively straight because mine's not going to be completely straight and it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just a guideline. Okay, next we're going to be drawing a circle. So I'm going to try and draw mine freehand. You can draw around something if you like. If you'd like to learn how to draw a circle freehand, there's a link to my tutorial above just here. Okay, so make sure that your circle, just a little bit of the circle, just pokes over the top of that line that we did before, okay? Just a tiny bit. There we go. I'll just erase this so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, you see that? That just the top bit just pokes up from the top there. Now we're going to draw two oval shapes. So they're kind of like elongated oval shapes, but the top of the oval shapes are going to be touching this line here. They're going to be slightly shorter than this circle. Okay, so one oval shape there, touching that line, and the other oval shape over here. Make sure it touches, the top touches that line, so it doesn't go quite as high as that circle. Remember, if I go too quickly, just hit pause and rewind. There's absolutely no problem in doing that at all. Okay, so this is meant to be an oval shape. You can see it's going just slightly wrong. So please don't worry, these are preparatory lines. They don't have to be very accurate at all. And also don't press down as hard as I am. I'm only doing that so you can see it on camera. Okie dokie. Next, we're going to do the hind leg. So as you can imagine, this is the tummy and this is the hind leg here. So from here, I'm going to be drawing a line diagonally down to the right hand side. You with me? You've done so well. Just showing up is the hardest part. So everything gets easier from there, I promise you. Okay, now we're just going to draw a diagonal line like that, just going upwards. And then the rest of the leg just comes diagonally down again in the other direction, diagonally down like this. And then, just like so. Okay, we're going to put in the other hind leg. So just starting here on this circle now, it's going to be another diagonal line. And then another line across. And then the foot which is kind of in the air a bit, so it's just a little bit higher. Now we're going to be doing the front leg. So I'm just going to draw in the ground just to make sure that I've got them at the same level. Again, you can use a ruler if you like, but why use a ruler when you can draw it freehand? It's far more fun. Okie dokie. So we're going to be drawing a triangle coming downwards like this. There we go. And then the foot is something like a triangle like that, okay? We're going to draw the other one that comes at an angle, back like that. And it's another kind of triangle shape. Can you see that? Okay, we're going to add in another little triangle for the foot. There we go, just like that. Now for the head. So at the top of this oval shape here, we're going to draw one curved line coming all the way down, not quite touching the floor, but almost. I'm going to show you. Just like this. Okay. It's going to come back up and join up with this oval shape just here. Okay. Can you kind of see that it's starting to take shape? You will now when we add in this one. So here we're going to add in the horn. Now, did you know how the rhinoceros got its name? Rhinoceros means nose horn, which is from the ancient Greek. There we go. So we're adding two little horns there. One there, one there. Let's pop in the eye and the nose and a little ear up here. Okay, now to add some more detail. Now this next part, I'm actually going to do it in pen, but please, please carry on in pencil. It's only so that you can see it better. So I'm just going over this horn here or tusk. So let's bring it back round here. Okay, and then the other one here. Smaller one. So that 
comes in like so and then we've got a little bump here and then there's a curve until it hits the ear just there so let's add in the ear here today gone tomorrow sorry about the bad jokes okay here we go coming in round and a couple of wrinkles okay these animals are super wrinkly so coming up to the top there we go all right now we're going to do the bottom of the head so coming down and a big lip like that and then the mouth and then the bottom lip and then the chin Okay. Also the cheek joins in around here and then quite a few saggy kind of wrinkly lines just like this. There we go, just like so. Okay, let's add in the eye. So a very, very small eye in comparison to the size of the animal. Do you know that white rhinos are the second largest land animal mammals in the world? Only elephants are bigger. So there we go. Leave a tiny little glint of white just to show reflection of the light. That just makes it look a little bit more realistic. And a couple of wrinkles underneath the eye. Just like that. Now we're going to add in a few wrinkles just underneath the horn here. And then obviously the nose. It's got to breathe. So a shape just like that. Let's add in some more wrinkles. There we go. So we've done the head now. Now for the front leg. So again, we need to add in so many wrinkles. So we're going to draw the front of the leg, but up the top here, there's like a flap of skin. So just draw a line coming across. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to draw a line coming out from that flap. Just like that, so it looks like a like a flap of skin. Okay, now we're going to follow these guidelines that we did before, and then we're going to do the feet. So there's quite a few big toes here, and it comes up around and inwards like that. With some more wrinkles. You're going to be so fed up by the end of this by drawing wrinkles. <laughs> okay, so a few more wrinkles going upwards. Yeah, let's draw a few more <laughs> and then coming up and then we reach here okay now there's a flap of skin here so just draw a line just coming downwards it hits that line that we did before and then it's going to be the belly so just follow that circle that we did before until it comes up again to just there okay now here we need to attach this line to that line there so draw a line like that okay now we're going to do the other front leg so this one's in darkness we're going to draw some shadow on this one later and then this one's kind of just lifting up the foot area just like that see the bottom of the foot just there and then it comes up like so we've got to obviously add lots of wrinkles there we go there we go. Okay, now onto the hind legs. You're doing so well if you've got this far, well done. Okay, so let's go upwards there. And then following these guidelines that we did before, just come all the way down. And when we did that line going across, that shows us where we need to draw some more wrinkles because that is the knee. Couple more wrinkles coming down to the foot. There we go. And then to the back of the leg, here we go. And then when we hit this oval shape that we did before, guess what? Add some more wrinkles. You got it. We're going to bring it out a little bit further than the original oval shape. But then when we hit the top of that oval shape, we're just going to do a slight dip and then hit the top of the circle shape. Again, we're going to do a slight dip 
and then hit the top of this oval shape there. So you can see that there are three peaks, one, two, three, where we had the oval, the circle, and the other oval. Let's add in the tail. So that's just a little line, just coming down like this. There we go. And we must do the other leg, so just following the guidelines that we did before. This leg's kind of in the air, so we're going to be drawing the bottom of the foot here. And I'm going to colour that in black. Can you see that? There we go. And then comes around here. Just like that. And then obviously some wrinkles. You got it. Now we're going to add in a few lines. So one line just here and then a couple to show the ribs. So one, two, three, just there. And then now we're going to add in the ground. So just here, add in the ground. And then a bit of shadow underneath to show that it's sunny. And now I'm going to raise all the pencil lines. Okay, so I've raised all the pencil lines. Now we're going to add in some shadow. So just using a series of diagonal lines, I'm just going to draw them quite closely together, just like this. It's going to show where all the shadow is. Did you know that rhinoceroses can run up to, well, between 30 and 40 miles per hour? And I know that because my dad, when he was in Africa, he went uh, on a jeep ride and a rhinoceros decided to chase after them. And he's got this fantastic photo, which I'll show you now. Okay, so now I'm doing cross hatching, which means that the diagonal lines, I'm doing them in the opposite direction. Oh, sorry, I can't even talk. I'm doing them in the opposite direction to how I did them before. So you can see that makes it a lot darker. I'm going to carry on just doing diagonal lines in one direction here and under the tummy as well. So, just a series of diagonal lines, just like this. And then a bit on the back leg, or well, the back of the leg, I mean. And then the front part of the leg. And then let's do a little bit down here as well, on the front part of the back leg, and just down here. And round here, underneath the tail. And obviously underneath this flap of skin here. Can you see that? Just here. And then just underneath the cheek. Try and keep all the lines in the same direction, unless you're doing cross hatching where they need to go in the opposite direction. Okay, and then obviously underneath the horn. Just tiny little dots, just like this. And then underneath there. Okay, and there we have our finished rhinoceros. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button and also hit subscribe. So I really hope to see you on the next one. Thanks very much for joining me. Bye bye.